looking back to the trailhead. A blaze on a little pine tree. We're gaining slightly in elevation, a minor rise. And trail goes in a course wending gradually towards the narrow gauge once more. and ferns drying out as autumn approaches. Shriveling in mass. It's been cool lately in early September, so I imagine the temperature drop to the edge of 49 last night took the wind out of a lot of Mosquito sails. Mosquitoes get wiped out in vast numbers by wide temperature fluctuations. Of course, freezing gets them too, but to have it just go from 50 degrees in the morning to 75 in the daytime frazzles. So we're right upon a time when those of you who worry about West Nile and equine encephalitis, at last you can begin to explore the woods without slopping deed all over yourselves. And it don't get any better than that. This is one of the best times in the year to be out here. way. The internal trails of the York Conservation Area are destined to rejoin it. Although people use the actual rail trail considerably, I haven't run into too many venturing into any of these utterly charming little conservation parcels. I imagine that happens more on weekends. The Tuesday crowd seems like it's mainly a fitness motive get the breath, the breathing going well, the heart rate up, all that sort of stuff. We are, after all, near a VA hospital. But the trail looks well enough worn to indicate people do go through here. And again, they seem to actually appreciate and take care of the places. I haven't seen 
much of any ill-considered use patterns thus far. way up above, sun filtering through, it's grand. as if the trail is beginning to wind its way down back to the rail line. Some old blowdowns providing all manner of comfort to critters on many levels as well as a pleasing seat for a lazy human in the woods. This looks back towards the north and this is heading southish.